in this module we would look at an example which is quite close to what is known as running musharaka in pakistan it is not exactly the same product as being offered in pakistan but that should give an insight into the use of musharaka for something which could be considered as a working capital financing product so running musharaka in pakistan offered by some islamic banks offers a working capital financing based on musharaka although based on musharaka but effectively it offers fixed returns to islamic banks without necessarily exposing them to loss of capital so this is an important aspect of this application of musharaka which inherently is a profit loss sharing arrangement however the way some banks may use musharaka in the context of islamic retail banking or islamic business banking this could generate some fixed returns to the bank effectively although the terms and conditions of a musharaka would remain unchanged but the way this whole structure is managed by the banks it effectively generates fixed returns for the bank so this could be deemed as an example of risk management in islamic banking and finance we have a complete set of segment dedicated to risk management and we might look into this aspect of risk management when we go to that part of the course so let us look at an example company a is seeking working capital finance this could be a company in manufacturing sector this could be a company in agriculture sector it could be in any it could be in the service industry as well an islamic bank may be willing to do so but without exp exposing itself to the general risks faced by the company because islamic banks like banks they are risk averse they would not like to acquire a lot of risk on their books because this is not deemed as good for the stability of the banking system as a whole and many regulators would not feel comfortable with this kind of behavior if banks start acquiring a lot of asset from the market a lot of risk from the market so the bank actually uh, gives certain amount of money as working capital financing to the company so because this is based on musharaka the money given by the bank to the company a must go into financing or building some musharaka assets or a well defined musharaka slash partnership activity within the business of the company a because this is musharaka the money contributed by the bank should be mixed with the money contributed by the company a into this musharaka activity in most cases that musharaka activity within the business already has a value so that value could be considered as the contribution of company a into the musharaka activity in case of profitability of musharaka activity the bank would have its own profit share and the company would benefit from the profit of that musharaka activity as well in accordance with its own profit share so part of the profit would go to the bank and part of the profit would be retained by the company within its structure 
So this is the case when there is some profit generated by the Musharaka activity, which is a segment of the business within the company A. How is the bank's profit uh, share determined? An Islamic bank and company A agree on profit ratio that is highly in favor of Islamic bank. So, profit distribution ratio agreed between the two parties would favor the bank. In this case, for example, 10% of the profit may go to the company and 90% of the profit may go to the bank, at least to start with. So, if the bank is looking for 10% return, it will work like this. Example 1. Financing amount is uh, 100,000 rupees. 1 lakh rupiah financing di gai hai. Expected return to be generated by the bank is 10%. Profit from Musharaka activity in this scenario 1 is 50,000. Bank's share would be 45,000 and company's share would be 5,000. So, this 45,000 bank's share would go to the bank and the company would have 5000 profit retained by itself. Now, because the bank was actually looking for only 10 percent return, i.e. 10,000 rupees profit in this case, so it would actually have this 10,000 rupees on its own book as its profit. And the remaining 5000 would be put into another account within the bank in the reserve pool. So, 5000 would go into the reserve pool, and the remaining uh, 30,000 from here would go back to the company uh, in the form of the investments. So, this would be reinvested in the Musharaka asset. Now, in case of uh, a loss, right, or in case of a return which is less than the expected rate of return of 10 percent. So, in this case, if the profit from Musharaka activity was uh, uh, 10,000, bank's share would be 9,000 because it gets 90 percent, and uh, the company's share would be. 1000. So, company would retain 1000, this 9000 would go to the bank. Bank is looking for 10,000, hence from the reserve pool that would actually get 1000 and would make uh, its uh, total profit of 10,000 dollars, which would be the 10 percent return the bank was looking for. At the end, the Musharaka assets would be valued. In most cases, the agreement, implicit kind of understanding between the bank and the company is that the Musharaka assets would be sold back to the business for a price which is equal to the Musharaka facility, which in this case was 100,000 USD or hundred thousand dollars.